Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey, and this is your monthly tarot card reading predictions from my beautiful, lovely fellow our sign of Capricorn for the month of November. So, for this month, guys, I'm going to be using the Angel Tarot, the Magical Spell Deck, Postcards from Spirit. To gather the beautiful messages I know the universe and the spirit wants to give us Capricorns, right? Because we're being through so much crap, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> but thankfully, Pluto moves out of Capricorn in November. I don't know what exactly what sign, but I'll be so daggone happy, won't you? <laughs> so, before we begin, let me quickly say thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to all my social media platforms i appreciate each and every one of you now i'm going to take the last bit of sip of this tea before it gets cold ring the bell asking my spirit team to step forward to assist me with this reading and we'll see what's going to come through for beautiful capricorns for the month of november Mm. I do not like cold, cold hot tea. Tea that you made hot. All right, what's going on with Capricorns this month, Spirit? What does Capricorns need to know in here? What messages are relevant for the month of November? I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed, blessed month. Happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating it. What's going on with our beautiful Capricorns? The wheel, Archangel Mikael showing up. The five of earth, no flipping way, right? The seven of earth. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Let's see what else. What's going on divine guides coming from under Archangel Mikael passion hmm and fertility okay so let's see let's deep dive all right I feel like as Capricorns there's change coming. There's a change coming, and then it's for the better. I feel like the month, the November, will be a really good month. I'm just gonna throw that out there for Capricorns. I feel like it's gonna be a really good month. I feel like even though you may. Have some fear, worry, and, and doubt about certain things in your life, whether it's your career, your money, your relationships, something else going on in your life, whether you need to move or not, or your businesses. I feel like it's going to be okay, and I feel like um, that is going to be like a faded memory, because I feel like you're you're not sure about um what's coming next and and that's okay that's okay we don't know what's around the corner we don't know what's coming up next with our um uh, with our um life relationship career businesses um your money your investments whatever it is we don't know but i feel like it's going to be good because we've got a lot of good cards here and we got the five of earth <clears throat> and I feel like that five is representing the change of the Wheel of Fortune here. So let's go through the cards. You've got the Wheel of Fortune with Archangel Michael. So this is a positive change that's coming um, about for you. Um, it's like fortune's on your side. Divine Goddess is coming in. So let's talk with Archangel Michael. Talk with the beings that you normally would commune with. Whether it's Jesus, um, angels, a guy, your higher self, soul, whatever. You're asking for help. 
your aunt, uh, your prayers, your um, are going to be answered. It's like you're asking for help. You're looking for divine guidance. You're looking for answers. So pay attention. They're coming in. Ask the universe. You want some divine guidance coming in? Ask the universe. The universe will always show you. It will always give you an answer. But you must just be paying attention. We do have the fertility card over here. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the fertility, it's coming in. It's coming in. Ideals, abundance in so many areas of your life. Capricorns, it's coming in. So be patient because we've got the seven of earth. It's just we'll have a little patience here. You know, we are <laughs> fed up with patience, but spirit is in a little bit more um patience. So there may be a temporary pause in the way things are going and, and that can bring about that fear, worry, and doubt about your money and what is coming forth. If you feel like um if you don't need to invest, don't invest. If you feel like you need to um, you know, just lay low or uh, back off from something, do it. Listen to your intuition because it's your, your intuition is definitely going to be hyped up and you're getting divine guidance here. So there's some fears around your money now. I'm not going to um, let that go by the wayside because this is what the five of earth is saying that there may be some fears, but don't, um, allow that to take root because I don't see it staying there long I don't see it with yeah there's a little pause there but the fertility in the wheel I feel like that is and the divine god it's under here and passion I feel like that's not going to last that that's not going to last um, with that plus I feel like that five is the change that's coming in with the wheel of fortune for Capricorns I feel like a big change is coming in. So you might have a bunch of ideals coming in. You may have this abundance that's coming in with your um, mentality, your uh, fiscality, your emotions. You're just changing. You're changing. Can you feel the change inside of you? Can you feel the change coming for you? Get passionate about what you want to create and do. Find the passion because you do have a passion card under your so it's finding the passion. You want to do something um, different with your life? Do it. This is the opportunity for change. The fortune's on your side when you see this card. Good things are coming. So lots of ideals coming in. Spirit is asking you to find your heart's desire if you have it already. Um, for those that are in business, there's unnecessary worry. So yeah, there's a little pause. But I feel like it's really going to pick up. Especially if you have your own business or uh, wanting to start one, this would be a great time right here before the holidays. You're letting go of all the fear, worry, and doubt, and things are moving along. So, yeah, it may not look like at the first of November, but it sure will look like that at the end of November. All right, let's go. Hard from postcards from spirit. Sis, dearest you, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes, a solid foundation and yet flexibility too. In case of earthquakes, truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base where it can be an ideal that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug, poured, and built. We want to remind you that of this because you need a little encouragement to see it is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly and go as well as do a general site checkup to ensure your hard work is being supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and sound foundation. That will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come and visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. So a beautiful message there saying don't give up. Yeah, there may be some 
uh, uh, you know, things going on in your life, but that too will pass. So I'm going to leave you with that. Guys, hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.